Hello, hello, hello. So this morning I'm going to handle a special request, request for somebody who has been very, very supportive of me for my channel for a long while. He's been requesting that I do a soundtrack review of NHL 9 because honestly, the guy, he's such a nice man, like, I never knew I'll get this now. I get a personal request to do something for somebody, but since the guy is such a been such a bro to me these past couple of weeks, I have to do it, especially since before I'm traveling abroad to Dubai and stuff, where I'll be super busy. I was like, why not just do this? It's gonna be a fun video. Oh man, I love that jersey in particular, like. The LA Kings 2008 jersey. This one's beautiful. It's like a, it's like a modern rendition of what they wore in the 90s. Anyway, this is the first song, Black Tide. Where's the soundtrack? Oh, okay. Like yeah, this song is amazing. Honestly, this is one of the better songs in the soundtrack so far. Like, just the build-up, honestly, like, the build-up is actually very beautiful stuff, you know? Like, just that calm symphony with the guitars. You know, you know, having a very calm symphony can help enhance the song's quality. In fact, in fact I, I gotta say, the, the beginning part of the song is the better part of the song. <laughs> That's just the truth, in my opinion. The rest of the song is okay, but that beginning... <laughs> yeah, this part is awesome. It's so trashy, but in a fun sense. I think the song kind of de kind of devalues after that point. I think it's one of the weaker songs still. Anyway, let me go back to the top. Yeah, Running Wild. I think this song was in NFL, Madden NFL 2008. It was a really great song in Madden 2008. No, in fact, I find this to be one of the weaker songs in Madden 08. It's one of the weaker songs. I prefer. Get ready to rock and roll. Like that's probably the most quintessential America fuck yeah type of song. That song it has this insanely rad, fun, energetic vibe to it. All oh, this song just feels a bit like we need to make a song that's can live up to the hype of Get Ready to Rock and Roll. So we got this. Run it, run it, run. It doesn't sound as good, honestly. It sounds pretty weak. Which is weird. Oh man, this song is, yeah, I love this song. I love this song. Just, just the fact it has no lyrics. It's just an epic guitar. This whole song is literally just an epic guitar solo. And that's what I love about, like, like, you know, the part where it's just the fucking guy going crazy and mad with the guitar. Stringing. Like that, part of the song. Oh. I love this part of the song. No, if I love this whole song, I love this part. Look. Perfection, just oh my god, this part makes me tear up, bro. This shit is beautiful. Why doesn't any job this type of music where it's just the guitar? The guitar is going fucking mad on it, bro. What a beautiful song, Jesus. How is this in the game like this? It does give the sport a super dramatic vibe to like you know, FIFA, how FIFA had their own soundtrack where. Where FIFA has like their own host of super dramatic songs applied to it. Because FIFA has a has that moments a lot in all of their games. There's this one super dramatic song that no matter what they'll do, they always keep it there. Like FIFA 7 had that one, FIFA Wii, FIFA 6, FIFA 9. God damn, this is the this is the quintessential dramatic NHL song. God, this shit is beautiful. Beautiful music.
Oh my god, this song goes so goddamn hard. I can't get over how, how insane the guitar solos are. Jesus. Okay, that's enough. And this song is almost the same as Grease. In fact, I know something about this game is that a lot of songs just start with a bunch of slow build up with some orchestra and tie some uh, orchestra tied to it. This song's okay. Kind of prefer the one Event Sevenfold song that was in that was in um, NHL Six. Beast and Hero that was also in Madden 06. I think it was called I don't I forgot the name. I don't have much of an opinion of this song, but kinda like the I don't know. What do I want to say about this? I have no clue. I mean, the chorus is pretty cool. Don't do it. So keep your ass up on me. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this song's amazing. It has a very sad vibe, too. Almost like a vibe of, like... Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it's like one last time, you know? The type of vibe where... It's the type of song you listen to when you feel very nostalgic for something. You have good times, memories. Reflecting on that set thing. I mean, I watched heard this song being used on one NHL compilation video, and it fits so well because that's that vibe of like sounding very modern while also very, also sounding very uh, nostalgic at the same time. You know, that's what it feels like here. It is an amazing song. It's only now I I appreciate how good the song is. Oh yeah, it's where the Albany had their own hockey team before. Where Alsberger Panther? It's one of the most metal teams in the in all of hockey. You see how dramatic you know how triumphant the song sounds, you no. Know? It was a very triumphant song. Really good song, honestly. You know, honestly, I haven't really heard this song before because I always delete it. I don't know why. Sound too bad. Oh, that's gonna skip the song. Okay. Doesn't sound too bad so far. Wow, this is a good song. What the hell? This is a pretty good song. 
And I always ignore this, so I don't get it. Why? I don't get it. Okay, that's why I hate this song. That's too. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Whatever. God, I hate this song. Maybe it's because I always hear this song on repeat way too much that I'm like, I, I, can't, I can't. It's a song I just don't want to be hearing that much anymore. It's just so. It's just so goddamn it, you know? God, I hate this song. Yeah, this song I feel different too. Why did he censor that part? Whatever. Oh yeah, this song again. I'm telling you, there's there's so many songs in this soundtrack that just features the violin. Like like that's what I like to describe at each old nine game. No HL9 is. Is that one game? in the NHL franchise that has so many songs with the violins. I don't get it, why? Ah, fuck, I love this song. But it is a great song to use if you want to contrast it greatly with all the ultra violence that the sport is known for. Like, I put this on a video with a compilation of how of like the biggest hits in any show. It, it, it becomes, the video suddenly becomes like a funny comedy. So yeah, this is a brilliant song choice from the developer's part. Like it doesn't fit this game, but that happy-go-lucky vibe kind of fits with adding some cork into the sport. Like this is more of a FIFA song in my opinion. Well, that's a very nostalgic vibe to it. That's for last. Okay, so uh, this song, I, I love this song. Like I said, it also sounds like a F FIFA song. But I love this song for one reason, guys. Just listen to this shit, right? break. <laughs> God, that's the part I love about this fucking song, bro. Such a fun ass song to listen to. Because of that stupid duh, duh, that song. Oh, it's so good. And this song, I love it as well. Like again, people it doesn't fit hockey, but I'm like, it's a fun song. It sounds more like a FIFA song, but I like this pop. I like when any child adds some pop music to this soundtrack. You know you're crazy in this game. And what you say. 
I want you to be crazy and then feel me and run me safe. Bro, this song is, be is, is groovy. Speaking of groovy, this fucking song. Yes! God, this song is fucking hype, man. Oh, man, I love this song. This is like my most listened to FIFA, I mean, uh, NHL 9 song, honestly. Ain't coming off and don't no time to chill. God, look at this team, the Die Furchy. That's meant to be a fox. You know the shade. Shake, shake, shake in the woods no more. Shake your feels in the mud the floor. I can't know the lyrics. I don't want to butcher it, but it's a fun song. Especially the clapping sounds. Man, die, die man him. One of my favorite DHL teams. Like by the way, I also sent an offer to get their jersey for super cheap because I bet nobody will buy their fucking jerseys. But I want that jersey. Anyway, do the panic. This is probably the second best song of the soundtrack. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. That's a great song. Oh, yeah, here's the best song of the game, by the way. Man, this song is amazing. Oh yeah, this song is my favorite in the soundtrack. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. You know what makes this song so great? It's the fact that it goes so fucking hard. Like, man, this song is metal as fuck. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, this song goes fucking crazy. That's what I love about it. It's so over the top, man. But like, again, yeah, it fits the sport. Because this is a very over the top, fast pace. Oh, that's their logo? Kind of like this more than their current one. Except for that shitty sponsor. I know what Sim per Sim U Pred is. It's a, I don't know. Man, this song especially fits so well this logo here. God, I love this logo. Like, like the Panther logo? One of my favorite hockey logos. Like, if ever people saying this logo looks very scary, I'm like, that, that's what I like about it. In fact, I love this logo so much, I'm gonna make a remake of it for myself, because I fucking love this logo. Why did they change this fucking logo from, from this fearsome looking theme to like, oh, a standard Panther. No, no, to, to this theme showing the jersey. God damn this song. There's a way. So no human to her. Bro, this logo's fucking trip, bro. I think that's a panther wearing a fucking night helmet. That's cool. Wow, that team didn't exist yet. Oh yeah, remember when NHL used to have a uh, have a uh, half the Russian 
Kicho. The dream is on the way. Oh, no, no, no. Man, this song is amazing. Why is the party just slowly headbang? Well, I hope to God my capture card doesn't tire out. St. Petersburg. Why did he censor that part? Oh look, the Soviet sickle in sight. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did he remove the lyrics here in this part? It's so weird. Bro, I love this logo. It's so childish, but it's so classical at the same time. But anyway, that's the soundtrack for NHL 9. If I was to give up my dots. I'll be like, this is a 6 out of 10 soundtrack. It's not that great. My favorite one has to go to NHL 10 or 11. In fact, I will make a soundtrack review for that. Alright, thanks for it, bro. Hope I did good for this video for you. So anyway, bye.